All right, YouTube, and we're back. Today, we're gonna do baby back pork ribs. A favorite, it's summertime, it's grilling. Let's get to it. All right, I got three racks of ribs here. I got three different rubs. I got the All-American Seasoning Rub from Pork Barrel. I got a KC kind of spice rub from Weber. And I have my own. This guy just has chili powder, brown sugar, garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika. Looks like every other generic rub that you can think of. Basically, same thing, just without the smoke flavoring and color. All right, I got three different racks of ribs here. Basically, I'm just gonna use each one of my rubs to do one of the racks. Each are about three to four pounds. Uh, I'm gonna smoke them up. I do have back here, as you can see, the Weber grill rack for the commander out here. We're gonna try and do them all. Hopefully it turns out a little bit better than last time. All right, let's season these guys up. First, we're gonna put the KC on this far one here. It says about two tablespoons per pound. Um, I would just say go about as liberal as you wanna go on this guy. I'm just gonna finish off my rub. Work a little in here. Oh, meat's already pulling back. It's gonna be nice and tender. All right. Next, we're gonna go pork barrel. I've used this one once before um, on a pork butt when we had some friends over. The pork butt turned out kind of dry. I'm gonna hope that it just wasn't a very fatty piece of meat on the inside. Um, but the flavor of this is pretty good. Plus it's a pretty big size jug. I paid about $6 for this guy. I'm just gonna completely cover this. I'm sure a lot of it's gonna fall off. And then I got my rub here for the final one. I'm just gonna shake it all on here. Whew. Chili powder's going crazy. And I'm off my cutting board here, so I'm just gonna pack it on. It's gonna be a fun cleanup for later. All right, gang. I did just clean my counters, by the way. Fresh clean on them. Lysol kills 99% of all germs. It's great for kitchen cleaning. All right, gang. We're gonna get these on tomorrow morning. Have them for mid-afternoon lunch. It's going to be fantastic. Definitely gonna to wanna to try this at your next cookout. Good morning, YouTube, and we're back. I've let my ribs sit overnight in the fridge. Let the seasonings kind of kick into that guy. I've got the smoker going. Gonna get it up to 250, 275. Gonna use apple wood chunks on it. Put the water pan on, keep the temperature nice and even. I have the rib rack right back here, like I mentioned last night. Once I get that guy on there, I'm thinking they should be on the smoker three to four hours, ready to go right about two or three my time for a nice afternoon lunch. Let's get to it, guys. All right, YouTube, and we're back. Got the smoker going. You can see we got a decent amount of smoke coming off. Got the rib rack here in the center. Thermometer probe over here for a little bit more accurate temperature probing. And then I'm just gonna take my ribs. And I'm just going to rack them up across here. This guy's gonna have to move. There we go. Then I got the final rack right here. Adjust them up. And uh we're gonna let these guys sit. In about two hours, we're gonna come out, hit them with some apple cider vinegar. Uh, that should be pretty good. Make sure they're nice and moist. I do have a water pan in here. 
apple wood chunks. Looks like they're starting to catch pretty good here. I'm going to drop my other thermometers. I do have three from that Sarocan set that I have. I'm going to just go one, two, three right in here. Keep an eye on it for a while and hopefully it'll be nice and tasty here pretty soon. All right, gang. It's been about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. My meat is sitting at about 180, depending 175, 181, just depending on which rack you're looking at. My grill temp, air on the grill is at 134. It's going up pretty quick. So I'm gonna actually take this off. I'm gonna peek at them all really quick. And then I have apple cider vinegar, a little bit of uh, apple juice in here, and then sugar and salt. Gotta love sugar and salt, always makes it so good. Just gonna mop it down, let it fall down the meat here. Man, these rubs are holding on pretty good. You can see the ribs are just starting to peel back along the meat and bone here. That's a sign that the fat is starting to pull away. You can see the bottoms are much farther along than the tops are. It's gonna get to the point where I might have to switch these around if the meat on the top is not cooking near as fast. But, all right, there's our check-in time. Here we go, we're gonna get back to it, let them sit for a little while longer and go from there. All right, gang, we're back. Got the smoker sitting at um, it's right around 2.30, 2.35. Uh, meat, after we mopped it the first time, actually dropped down to 163 in temperature. It's back up to about 170. Now, it's been about another 45 minutes. You can really start to see the pullback from the fat on the bones here on the bottom. It means that the fat here and the meat is really starting to shrink up. You can see it along the top here as well. Um, I think it's just going to be about another 45 minutes to an hour on these guys, which will put total cook time right around four hours when we're all said and done. It should be about a 10 to 2.30 cook. Well, it's about 10.30 to 2.30 cook. So we're just gonna mop it one more time here. Keep the meat nice and moist. Brush it on, still using the same solution I was before. Apple cider vinegar, salt, sugar, apple juice. Keeping the meat moist. Checking my water pan here, it's down to about half. If you're having temperature control issues, easy way to do that, just refill that water pan and uh, your temperature will level right back out to where you wanna keep it. All right, gang, we'll get back to it here shortly. We're back for the final part of the cook. Our meat temp is sitting right at 185 on all three racks of ribs. Um, you can see that the bones are really starting to pull out, really starting to get loose right here on the ends, um, both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull. Ooh, wow, yeah. Just pull the thermometer, um, thermostat pieces out there. Then I am going to try to not burn myself too bad. And I'm going to flop just the ribs back down flat on here. Whew, this is pretty hot. Here we go. All right, just gonna lay each one kind of flat down through here. And then I have some of our favorite sauces, kind of like a honey barbecue. It's from a local guy around here. And I am just going to brush on some of this sauce very lightly on the top of each one of these racks. After this, I'm just gonna let the sauce glaze up. 15 or so minutes, I'm gonna kind of bring the heat up as well on the grill, maybe a little bit closer to 300. Letting it open up and breathe is really gonna help with that. All right, gang, I'll see you back in a few minutes. I just went ahead and pulled them off the smoker here. Um, I can still feel the heat radiating off these guys. But all three are done, and uh, needless to say, the bones are just popping 
out of these guys. Meat is falling apart. Bones just coming off. Um, pretty tender meat, I would say. Pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely has a taste. Sauce is coated on there. You gotta give these a try. These are pretty good. Oh yeah, have a good one guys. Thank you.